If you use Unbounce to design your landing pages and you're looking to create a multi-step form within the platform, then keep watching this video as I'm going to show you exactly how we do it and how you can do it as well to get better quality information from your prospects and also get better conversion rates as well and make it look great and very smooth experience for your landing page visitors. So as you can see, I'm in a example template that I've put together for the purpose of this video. You can see we've got get my free estimate and then we've got our step one form field questions here. Now, typically when it comes to multi-step forms, you wanna start off with easy to answer qualification questions often which are just drop down fields rather than an open field, which leaves a, a bit more room for interpretation of what people are gonna type in. The drop down fields just make it super easy for people to select what they want and then proceed to the second step. So the important thing when creating a multi-step form in Unbounce is first of all, making sure that we've got the correct labels here. So when we create our drop down questions here from the drop down menu, you can see here, we've got the field name and ID. And this is really important because we wanna pull this information over to our step two form as well. So when we eventually ask for their contact details, we also have the information from step one. So make sure you label all of these different questions with the correct field name and ID. So you can see here, we've called this one windows, preferred style of window, we've called style, project start date is start date. It doesn't really matter what you call them. I prefer to keep them shorter so they are easy to uh, understand when it comes to pulling through the information. So that's the first thing. The next thing is that in terms of the form confirmation, you want to make sure that the form confirmation goes to URL here, this one. And then in the URL, this is where you're gonna put the URL of the second duplicate landing page that we create. So you might not have the URL at this stage now, but and you can always come back to add that in here later. So I've just called this multi-step hyphen step two, but you can call it whatever you want. But the main thing is that this URL here is applied to the next page that we create. And then lastly, you want to make sure that this box here, append form data to URL is selected because that will pass through the information from this form over to our second form. Uh, and that's passed through the URL. Okay. Then the final kind of element of creating a multi-step form in Unbounce is having a progress indicator. Now you don't have to have this, but it is best practice to include a progress indicator. So users understand what stage they're at in terms of completing the form. So I've put just a simple kind of blue bar here that's half filled indicating step one of two. And I've also put in step one of two here as text right below that progress indicator. And you can see this is what it looks like on mobile design. So all really nice. Okay. So now we want to essentially duplicate this page and create our step two. Hey, real quick one. If you're big on landing pages like me and you want to get better, you always want to improve your conversion rates, then you may want to consider our private community lead gen alpha. I've got a link in the description below. Basically, we hold weekly calls, audit accounts, and have loads of templates from proven campaigns that we've run from our own clients. Might be worth you checking it out. Let's get back to the video. I've added it to a folder here. So what we want to do is take this exact page that you've got for your step one and click duplicate. Okay, click on duplicate. And now we have to go in and edit it. Before that, I'm going to just change the name. I'm just going to change the name to S2. So I know that that is the name within the folder. And like you saw me in a few moments ago, show you the URL of where we're redirecting it. I'm going to make sure that, that matches the exact URL that we had in the form redirect here. So multi-step, step two. That's what we included in that first step, redirect. Okay, now that we've duplicated the page, there's some information that we're going to need to update. So I'm going to remove this text here and I'm just gonna say last step, get my free estimate today. Okay. And then I'm going to just move this up one. And then I'll also move this up as well. 
Let's keep it accurate to, that's what we had before, 20 pixels below the button. And then you wanna move this arrow up as well. So you wanna create a consistent looking page design. What you don't wanna do is be like changing all the different positioning. So when you load the second page, it literally feels like it's the exact same page with nothing else that's moved other than just the question uh, form or the form questions rather. So what we need to do now is add in our personal details. So typically on the step two, we're gonna include a first name or just contact name, email, and phone number. Now what you'll notice is that because we've still got all the step one form field, it's showing everything. But that's not a problem because what we need to do is add hidden fields for each one of these. So if we go back to those field names and IDs, what we wanna do is take that delete the question and add it as a hidden field. So copy that field name and ID to the uh, hidden field. So now we've got windows in here, preferred style of window, take that, delete that, add it as a hidden field. Exact same thing, start date, add it as a hidden field. Okay, and you can do this for not just the question one form, uh, the, the step one questions, you can add like all your UTM parameters, you can add your Google Click ID, you can include everything in that first step as well that you wanna pull across. So there's no kind of limit on what you can do with hidden fields. And then the last thing that we need to do here is change our progress indicator to step two of two, delete this and make this 300 pixels wide. And then I just need to add some curvature on the end of this just to make sure the design checks out. So you can see now that shows step two of two and we've got our first name, email and phone number. What we need to do here though, is just click on that and make sure the confirmation goes to the form confirmation dialog or if you're redirecting to a thank you page, that's where you would add your thank you page URL in there. Okay, so then you can see the form dialogue, form confirmation dialogue is there. And if we go onto mobile now, now this is really important, is that we actually remove all of this information. Now you don't wanna just delete it because then it will delete it from the desktop version as well and it will look, well, it just won't look right. So what you wanna do is click on the container or each individual element and then just hide it. And then what we wanna do is move this form up because if we're redirecting people to the second step of the form, we just, or they've completed that first step, we literally just need to get them over the line and complete that second step with their personal details. So all we're gonna do is just shunt the form as high up as we can, so there's no confusion. They don't have to scroll past the, uh, the headline and subheading again, they can go straight to the information with the form. And before we do that, we just wanna make sure everything is lined up nicely. So I'm just going to make sure we've got all our alignment in here. So this is really important. You don't want to be just kind of messing around with the alignment. Just keep everything really consistent um, so that the design looks like pretty seamless with the step one experience. Okay, and then just move that there, move this up. And then you can see here, we've got our desktop version of the step two page, and we've got our mobile version of the step two page as well. So let's we save this, publish that, and just wait for it to publish. And what we'll see is that URL here. And remember, that's the URL that we added in, in our step one's um, go to URL field here. So that goes to that multi-step step two and we've got a pen form data. That's really important that that is checked. So now if we go to the step one page URL and refresh this, you can see here, this is the page that I initially showed you. You can select the different option, option one, option two. Normally I would actually add all the correct fields, but for the purpose of this example, I've kept them blank. Get my free estimate. And then what you'll see here, it's redirected to our second step where we then ask for uh, the first name, email and phone number. You can add more fields, just remember you will need to just kind of slightly rejig your design, but remember keep everything really nice, flush, don't move stuff around and it will create a seamless experience for your multi-step form.
So hopefully this tutorial was useful. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you're looking to create a multi-step form in Unbounce, or if you want me to take a look at anything, just let me know as well. Hopefully this is useful and solves all your multi-step form design needs in Unbounce. All right, take care.